Commissioner, this unprovoked attack on a United Colonies research facility will not... You will be scanned as you enter the city. Water is quite aesthetically pleasing, or so Barrett has told me. New Atlantis relies on advanced hydroelectrics for most of its power. Constellation is an entirely neutral entity, and always has been. Here we are, the lodge. The front door should unlock if you hold up the watch that Barrett gave you. I have messaged the other members of Constellation. They will be waiting for us inside. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? I see. Vasco, verify. All statements made have been factual. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. Walter. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. But that didn't happen. He's here with the artifact. Thank you, Matteo. Now, let's focus on what's in front of us, shall we? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. There. Are you hearing this? Do you all believe me now? Whether it happened or not wasn't in doubt. But honestly, Country, if you expect us to believe in fairy tales... If this is the greatest mystery in the universe, why couldn't it be part of the ultimate mystery? But gentlemen, can we please focus? Noel, I think it's time we tested your theory. Right, let's see. We know the artifacts react to each other. The pieces we already have move when they're in close contact. Now, if we add this new one to the two we already have... The artifact. If you could place it on the table here. That's it. 
just like the others. And to imagine, we thought there were only two of them at first. Oh my god, that's it. They're reacting. Look at how it's coming together. That energy that's arcing between them, no manufactured material in the settled systems can do that. None of them. This proves... Easy, girl. Breathe. You will have a heart attack. She's not the only one. If they're coming together, it means there's a set. Built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. Still 2,000 credits for our little wager, Patrick? You're on, Walter. Well, if we had all the answers, it wouldn't be exciting, now would it? Not to take away from the moment, but what are we going to do about our new friend here? <laughs> so, are you ready to get to work? See if exploration is the life you want to lead in this little universe of ours? We're all here because we're committed to exploring space. Humanity may have settled the stars, but that doesn't mean we should stop diving into the unknown. Beyond that, you'll be expected to use your own judgment, just like the rest of us. Individually, they're just odd hunks of metal, another oddity from the uncharted reaches of space. As to what they are, what they're building, well, You'll be part of solving that puzzle now. You should take some time to get settled in. Introduce yourself to everyone. Some of our members aren't here, but you'll meet them soon. Come find me when you're ready. You and I are going to be doing some traveling together. Get your feet wet. And here, I think you've earned something for bringing the artifact to us. In addition to credits, why don't we set you up with a backpack with some boost capability, hmm? You'll need it out in the field anyway. Just mind your head. You don't seem to spend much so, time... So, are you ready to get to work? Or was there something else? That is a rather personal question. But I'll indulge it. I'm told that when I'm not here, I'm distracted Maybe by another what I'm missing and wind up crabby. Or my personal favorite, irascible. It has been det. that for the long-term health of our relationship, and I... That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Planning on sticking around then? Good! I think we can find a spot for you. And along the way, I can give you the very abbreviated tour. Right, so you've seen the library, obviously. Walter is quite proud of the collection, but Matteo has made more than a few contributions. Gardens are out the doors there, if you need a moment of quiet contemplation. Emphasis on the quiet part, at least usually. Let's head upstairs. Sebastian Banks, Constellation's founder, had this place built decades ago. It was a big to-do at the time, but most people in the city have forgotten we're here. I hope you are satisfied with the quarters available to you. Truth to it. Ha! Well, 
best of luck. So this is the bar. Usually no tender, so help yourself within reason, of course. Now let's see about that room. You're in luck. We were almost at max occupancy already, but there's still one room up for grabs. It's been nice having the place so full. Okay, this will be you. Common room on one side, so that'll be quiet, and Mateo on the other side, so maybe a little less quiet. I'm sure Sarah has something planned for each of us, so I'd better get back to it. Don't want to keep her waiting too long. Enjoy! Occasionally had my doubts about Constellation as an investment, but now, well, ready to get out there. Well spent. We're going to be doing some old-fashioned detective work. The artifacts are relatively inert once they're out of bedrock. That means people can pass them around, not even knowing what they are. I've been letting my contacts know to be on the lookout for strange metal objects. Get back a lot of noise, usually. But a tip from the UC Vanguard sounds promising. Jumping to anthropology on me already? Oh, well, good. We all need our own reasons to be out there. But it's not just that. I want to take this opportunity to see how you handle yourself, and for you to learn more about us. I'm going to be sticking with you for this. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. We'll need to head to Mast. Check in with the Vanguard recruiting office where my contact works. And listen, whatever you were before, or whatever you do once you're out there, I don't care. So long as you don't bring UC security to our doorstep. Every member of Constellation is their own conscience. Understood? Good. Let's take a little stroll through New Atlantis, shall we? I know everyone's excited by the artifacts, but we need to be as objective as you possible mind putting and be your aware signature of possible on negative effects. The money-related kind. It's almost as if you think I'm made of credits. What is it this time? Progress requires funding, I'm afraid. And we're making good progress these days. Sometimes I think you only keep me around because I pay for everything. Nonsense, Walter. Your sparkling personality is why we love you. The credits are just a bonus. Well, I suppose calling you a rock breaker may have been a bit out of line. 
still doesn't excuse it. My frustrations lie more with Barrett. Not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. Not fair of me to take it out on you, especially since it would seem he made the right call this time. So, let's start over, shall we? Walter Stroud, CEO of Stroud Eklund, member of Constellation, and oft-times grumpy old man. Welcome aboard. By the way, in addition to a place to stay, the Lodge has a wealth of modification and research equipment. Spacesuit customization, pharmaceutical manufacturing, testing alien substances, the whole thing. You can even fashion industrial pieces for large-scale projects, if you don't mind extracting a few raw resources from a nearby planet, that is. I'm a fan of self-reliance, so I encourage you to make use of the tools we have to build what you need. Me? <laughs> Why, I'm the wallet. Someone has to fund all this, and all my success in business doesn't mean much if I can't put it to good use. I don't pretend to have the daring of Ms. Morgan, or the smarts of young Mateo, but I can make sure that they have the resources they need. And, as you've now seen, those resources aren't being wasted. We're onto something big here. We're most well known for ship manufacture. No expense spared. If you want the best and can afford it, you choose Stroud Eklund. Unfortunately, our success means you'll sometimes see Stroud Eklund ship modules on less than reputable vessels. They covered them. The bastards. I've tried to convince the United Colonies we can help in that regard, but they're married to Deimos Star Yards, and those old salts are stuck in the glory days. Up until very recently, I'd likely have dismissed it as, I don't know, hallucinations. But now, I'm not sure what to think. I don't suppose you have a history of this sort of thing, do you? This, or anything else. You'll have to forgive me. I don't know you as well as the others here. If you weren't so new to the group, I might already know the answer. Yes, I imagined as much. Barrett expressed something similar, in his own unique way. I'm no scientist. I leave that to the likes of Barrett and young Noel there. But I think we can all agree there's something unusual going on here. Frankly, this is the most exciting thing that's happened in years. Funny thing about companies, you build one sturdy enough, it doesn't need you there all the time to prop it up. Stroud Eklund functions quite well on a day-to-day -day basis, leaving me time to devote to more esoteric pursuits. For years, I was captivated by the writings of Constellation's founder, Sebastian Banks. I finally decided to do something more than admire from a distance, and so now, I call the Lodge home, as much as anywhere else. Goodbye. Feel free to help yourself at the bar. I don't drink, but I feel like if I did, now would be a good time for one. Are you doing okay? I'm not sure anyone really asked yet. Don't want you to think we're focused on the artifacts and nothing else. You matter too. You've done something really significant bringing that artifact here. I'm Matteo, theological scholar by trade, but now, well, an explorer like you. It's really good to have you with us. Second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. But the first one, right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? 
I'm not gonna lie, I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge otherwise. Both you and Barrett saw something. I don't think that's a coincidence. Did it feel like it was trying to tell you something? I don't want to necessarily use the words divine revelation, but, you know, if the label fits. It has to be, right? All of this is connected. We just need to figure out how and why. We're gonna get to the bottom of this. We just need more data, which means more artifacts. Well, there was some overlap in interests. I'd spent years searching for religious relics from human history. I had made a really incredible discovery, only to lose it to a greedy corporation. So I tried to steal it back. In the process, I met Walter. Turned out he owned the corporation. After a long talk, we realized we had a lot in common, and I was invited to join Constellation. Take care of yourself. I am at your service, Captain. Another space explorer. Hey, you ever think of joining up with the Vanguard? Help the United Colonies, earn some credits, even get your UC citizenship? All right, all right. Can't blame me for trying, right? I mean, I still haven't given up on getting Sarah to re-enlist. It's a game we play. He asks, I say no. Here's what I got for you two. Vanguard volunteer by the name of Moera. Helps patrol the old neighborhood. Sol, Mars, Neptune, you know. The Sol system? Which Admiral did he upset to get that posting? He's Martian, born and raised. Not like I can get anyone else to care. Word is he's got some fancy metal ornament he's been showing off to the old grounders. Matches that description Sarah gave me. What? <laughs> nah. 
Soul system is as quiet as a coffin. It'll be fine. That means it's not going to be fine. I'm sure you two can handle it. Soul system is a lot of planets, but a vet like Moera will be checking in at Sidonia on the regular. You mean hitting the bars, don't you, John? Hey, nothing wrong with a little refresh between patrols. It's definitely a lifestyle, burning helium out there, seeing where the stars take you. I'm serious about that recruitment offer, by the way. You just come talk to me when you're ready. UC is a good friend to have. Hey, Sarah's friend. You come to enlist at long last? Start earning your stripes with the Vanguard? We're the United Colonies Volunteer Fleet. Any captain can join, regardless of origin. Get to fly your own ship and earn credits as you help the people in the most distant reaches of the United Colonies, all while earning your way to UC citizenship. Put in the time, and citizenship is guaranteed. Vanguard work is as needed. When we've got jobs, we'll make them available to you. But the work itself, well, it runs the gamut. Sometimes you might be hunting down hostile ships on behalf of the UC Navy, or you might be called up to help the Science Division clean up some invasive species. Hell, we've even been asked to help take on the occasional Terramorph. And sometimes we just need cargo support. Not every job's glamorous. The Vanguard only gets called in for the ones where there's a chance of seeing action. Wherever the UC needs us, the Vanguard is there. Well, all right. Take the elevator down to the Vanguard Orientation Hall. You can get started at any of the registration terminals. The system will walk you through the rest. And if you've got any questions, I'm happy to answer them. Been a long time since I've been to Mars. Soul system doesn't get a lot of traffic. No problem. Those on official United Colonies business can access the building. Registration accepted. You may now proceed through the historical displays in the orientation hall, or continue on to the examination. Was some UC general that condemned Londini? Gave it over to Welcome. 
piloting simulation chamber. Please enter the designated simulation pod to initiate your exam. Ah, you must be our new applicant. I'm Proctor Samuelson. The simulator's already been prepped. You can head in whenever you're ready. Of course. You'll be running through a high-realism combat flight simulation, engineered by members of the UC Science staff, right here in MAST. Your task is to defeat at least three tiers of simulated opponents. Accomplish that and you pass the exam, and can then proceed on to your probationary mission. However, if you defeat more than three tiers of enemies, your required enlistment time for citizenship will be reduced, and your enlistment bonus increased. But you're welcome to try as many times as you like before returning to Commander Tuwala to proceed on to the next step in your application process. We'll only keep the highest score you manage to achieve in there. While I can't answer that question directly, I will say this. Due to the solitary nature of our work, resourcefulness is a critical tool in any Vanguard pilot's repertoire. You're permitted, even encouraged, to use whatever tool you're able to find in there. The simulator is designed to be a near-perfect replica of a Class B Deimos hoplite, the United Colonies standard destroyer model. It's been tuned to provide a challenging but fair fight against the enemy squadrons you'll encounter inside. Vanguard assignments can often include both space and ground combat. It'd be bad for both you and the United Colonies to not ensure you're adept in both capacities before sending you out on your first real assignment. Good hunting. This is the Mark 18 Flight Simulation Chamber applicant, currently in orbit around a high detail recreation of a remote world. When you're ready to begin, please take a seat in the pilot's chair. Your exam is simple. Defeat as many tiers of opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. You must defeat at least three tiers of opponents to pass the exam. Good hunting, applicant. Target's active. Target's defeated. All targets alive. 
provide sufficient opponents to pass the exam. You may now exit the simulator through the hatch to record your current score, or stay and try your hand at the remaining tiers. Resuming the examination. New targets active. Congratulations, applicant. You've passed. You can head up to Commander Tuwala to receive your final results and your probationary assignment. Or you're welcome to take another run at the simulation if you'd like to try... Right with the exam? Or did you have some? Ah, so these are your numbers that just came through then. You ready to hear how you did? Then let's get to them. So, looking at the data, skip the murals altogether, huh? Not that they're required or anything, but naturally inquisitive folks tend to do well in this organization. Psychological results are all within expected levels. Navy doesn't have room for folks that'll fall apart the first time they're trying to outrun a homing missile. Now, how'd you do against your foes? Tier 4, not too shabby. The techs make us test each level of the sim too. I can tell you that wave are some real artificial bastards. Good job putting them away. Hell of a job. I might even let you fly me around sometime. 
So then, looking at your results as a whole, and presuming you're successful in completing your probationary mission, you could have your UC citizenship after only... 10 years service. Pretty standard for combat assignments. But your performance in the simulator does mean I can offer a signing bonus. Help convince you to join the cause. 10 years might seem like a long time, but it's worth the climb if you wish to become a citizen. So, sounds to me like we've got Vanguard material on our hands. If you're interested, we could bring you on as a provisional member today. Get you the credits you've earned, then send you out on your probationary mission. First, though, all UC service people, provisional or otherwise, are required to swear an oath. So, you want to make this official? Commit yourself to the cause of the colonies? It's a big decision. John, you're not about to have my compatriot here sign some kind of contract that sells you their grandmother five years down the line, are you? Officer's honor, Sarah. This is honest work for honest credits. So, you ready to do the deed? Fantastic. Then just follow me. Sidonia is an industrial town. Wouldn't be right doing this where we couldn't see the stars. Now, raise your right hand. The motto of the Vanguard is Supra et Ultra, above and beyond. That is where we serve, beyond the furthest reaches of the United Colonies military, and with honor and duty above reproach. Do you swear to protect and defend the citizens of the United Colonies to the best of your abilities? And to uphold the values of the Vanguard Honor, loyalty, self-reliance in all your actions as a member of the United Colonies Navy? Then let me be the first to officially welcome you to the United Colonies Vanguard. Now, only thing left is getting you that probationary mission. And what I've got is... comms repair. Group trying to refurb an old colony war processing plant on Tau Ceti II. Sounds like they'd barely gotten set up when their communications died. Place is as isolated as they come, so Brass wants a vanguard to deliver the repair suite and ensure anyone present is safe and secure. So, can the people of Tau Ceti II count on you? That's the spirit. Head down to the spaceport and talk to Crew Chief Harath. He'll get you the repair suite plus your new recruit kit. Oh and your advance. Give it your all out there. Supra et Ultra. Wonder where this will all lead. Sounds good. Lead on.
I've flown across most of the settled systems in all manners of spacecraft, and yet I still get sick on the NAND. liked that statue. It's beautiful, isn't it? Mm. I wonder what the artist was trying to represent. It's nice to see a new face. First time in New Atlantis? <laughs> oh boy. I didn't mean for you to take it personally. It's just something to say to customers. Break the ice. Know what I mean? Listen, you just relax. Make yourself comfortable. You're welcome to stay as long as you want. That work for you, new guy? Let me know if there's anything I can get you. Yep. Spaceport traffic keeps me pretty busy. But just between you and me, I've got something in the works that'll change everything. A new drink that'll make this place famous. Galaxy-wide. You would love it, I guarantee. Only, I can't make you one right now. Don't have the ingredients. I made a deal with the hauler to bring me some small samples of an ingredient I think will make all the difference. But it never showed up. Turns out the guy I hired was also hired by a few other folks. The kind of folks who ship less than legal cargo. Security got wind, and the whole lot was impounded. Now they're just sitting on it, taking their sweet time like they always do. It's killing me. I submitted all the paperwork, believe me. It won't amount to anything, but I did it. And really, I'm not even certain this is what I need to finish the recipe. I just... I think it is. I need to get my hands on that cargo. I really do. It's gonna keep me awake nights if I don't try. Before we say anything else... I am in no way asking you to do anything that might violate any of the many, many laws in place here in New Atlantis or the larger United Colonies. This is just one friend talking to another friend, asking if maybe that friend could possibly find a way to get her important cargo out of the impound. And if, hypothetically, that were done in a less than 100% legal way, well, that might not be the worst thing in the world. You, uh... with me on this? Surely you're not seriously considering this course of action. The last thing we need is UC security on our backs. Yeah, sure. Right. Okay. I totally get it. I can't even believe I suggested it. I can wait the 18 months until they release it. Probably. It'll be fine. Just... If you change your mind, let me know, okay? I hear there's some sort of citizens group trying to get the old Varun embassy torn down. When I first heard about it, I thought it was a bit extreme, but really, would you want to move into that place? Me neither. And it's not like they're ever coming back. House for room, I mean? Well, at least not make nice and be all diplomatic. We all know how that went. Hmm. Bit of a slow news day around here. Ah, well. Speaking of news, some folks are convinced David Barron, you know the SSN anchor, is some sort of Freestar sympathizer. 
ridiculous if you ask me. Sure, they ran a couple of stories about Aquiles City that weren't totally critical, but come on. Have you ever been? It's really not that bad. Anyway, that's the sort of high-stakes stuff people talk up while waiting on a flight. So glad you asked, aren't you? I can tell. See you around. Hey there, new guy. Hope life is treating you well. Let me know if I can get you anything. The ways of New Atlantis security are inscrutable to mere mortals. They always appear busy, and yet somehow nothing ever seems to get done. Yes, I'm still missing my ingredients. And yes, I am quite bitter. I can only hope you are bringing up this deeply painful subject because you've had a change of heart and now are considering some mild law-breaking. Oh my gosh, you will? Really? Wow. Okay. Do we, like, conspire now or something? I don't really know how criminal activity works. Not that this is criminal. I mean, <laughs> certainly not. First of all, I can't even tell you how much I appreciate this. Second, I have to be honest. I have absolutely no idea how to fix this. I'm obviously not expecting you or anyone to go in guns blazing and taking hostages or something. I just figure there has to be a way to get what I need. I'm not worried. I'm annoyed. Wait, are you saying I should be worried? No, of course not. It'll be fine. Totally fine. I, I trust you. Stop by anytime you'd like to catch up.